My name is Jessica Neal, and I'm a physician at Unlock Pace. So as a doctor at Pace, my workday looks a little bit different from a typical doctor's office. I have fewer patients who I see much more frequently, and I'm much more available to help coordinate their care, whether it is a clinic visit or a specialty visit, or if they need to go to the hospital, we help facilitate that, all of the above. The PACE model has many benefits, and I can speak to it from the physician's perspective, which is often as a geriatrician working in the community, you see all the needs that somebody has, but you're not able to provide them. But at PACE, I can see, oh, my patient has dementia, or they're having more trouble with things at home, and we're able to provide those additional services, support them with home care if they and their family need it, support them with home delivered meals if that's what is interesting to them and needed by them, physical therapy to help with chronic pain or whatever it may be. And one of the things I like the most about this job is that because I see very few patients, I really have the opportunity to build relationships over time with the people who I take care of, both with them and their families. Thank you, and thank you for being here this Friday afternoon, and we can spend a little, a short uh, a short time together and really enjoy the show and really enjoy uh, seeing uh, um, Chef Yen do his magic, okay? So um, my name is Stephanie. On behalf of the whole Unlock team, uh, I'm your host for tonight, and if this is your first time, just kind of raise your hand, let, let us know. I would like to say a welcome. And also, and this is thank you for joining the uh, March 2024. Can you believe it? Yang Can Cook Show with Unlock 2024. And, and here's some information about Unlock. Unlock is a nonprofit organization that provides uh, uh, service, service senior in the Bay Area for over 50 years. Our PACE program provides medical and support services for the senior so they can fully embrace life. And our Unlock 30th Street Senior Center is the largest senior center in San Francisco. We offer meals, virtual exercise classes, and case management services. And if you guys have any questions related to the ingredients, how to uh, cook, and things like that, just kind of post it on the chat. I will, I will ask on your, on your behalf. And during the show, we'll select three people to win a Chef Yam knife set, knife set and uh, Unlock apron. Or, uh, as our gift. And thank you very much for being here on Friday afternoon. And today's uh, menu is uh, snow fungus uh, chicken soup, braised spring bamboo soup, and black sesame dessert. So I love to see you all um, here and just roll it to Chef Yan. Chef Yan, this is all yours. First of all, for all the women, ladies, Owen Yang, William Three three years old or a hundred years old. Today, March the 8th is the wonderful International Women's Day. I wish all the ladies, all the female, all the women, happy Women's Day. And I wish you good health, happiness, and also continued success in whatever you're doing from a man to a woman, okay? so. Uh, in fact, every time I do this, my I have two dogs running around. They, when they smell what I'm doing, they get so excited, and they know I'm gonna have to serve them good food later. So that's the reason why they were barking. But anyway, no problem. Today, we're celebrating spring. Now everybody know that uh, recently uh, we have the Lunar New Year celebration. Lunar New Year is also called the Spring Festival. We celebrate the spring and we have night market in Chinatown. In fact, for today's live stream, for today's live show on air, I rushed back. I just came back from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I was there. I did a fundraising for the a school for handicapped children, and I went to visit them. I gave them red envelope, give them candy, and a lot of them um, are blind, or handicap, and or they get the loss of hearing, or the limbs affected, so they're on wheelchair. And also, I went to visit the uh, orphanage. And you know, when you go to these places, 
you feel not only you're doing something meaningful and help other people, you feel that you're so fortunate. I always tell people, when you're fortunate, when you are capable of helping people, you should do it. And that's why every year I fly all over the world. Um, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, uh, Australia, everywhere. And I would do a lot of these because it made me feel good. A sense of accomplishment, sense of satisfaction. Today, the first thing I want to show you is something. You go to a typical Chinese restaurant, okay? They have soup of the day, particularly traditional Chinese restaurant, soup of the day. They normally are double boil. You know what they do on double boil? You see, this is a, a container for double boil. And you have a, a big bowl here. You have a lid, okay? They also have a parchment paper, wet it and seal it. So this way, they maintain the temperature about 195 to 100 degree centigrade, about 212 degree of Fahrenheit. So this way, they're not overly cooked, but they normally do it for about six, four to six hours in a big steamer, okay? You can do it, but you do it at home is a little pain in the neck because you're gonna watch the thing for how long? For four to six hours. But in the restaurant, they have always have people there. So this is the double boiler special. Today, I wanna to introduce an ingredient for this particular herbal chicken soup with snow fungus. They always say, chicken, chicken, chicken soup. Now, this is something that you have never seen, okay? This is what I call the silken chicken. The hair, the feather of this is silky white. And the skin is black and the bone is black. It's called the Zhuxi Gai in Chinese, okay? They're mild in nature, sweet in taste, and supposedly very believed to nourishing yin and the serum and the heat. And also supposedly good for the liver and your kidney and also strengthen your spring. And also supposedly, if you have diarrhea, they help to stop diarrhea. So we want to add a tiny bit of ginger, you see, uh, ginger, the rice stock of the green onion. And this is a very interesting herbs that I use, okay? Look at this. You buy them in a package like in any Asian store, Chinese store, okay? It is called dong sum in Chinese. What it is, is also sweet in taste. You soak them and it, you can actually buy into it, soak them for a long, long time. And you buy into it and they replenish, supposedly, believe those plant Spanish, uh, as it replenish the vital energy and also quench your thirst and then also strengthen your spleen and lung. And then supposedly also good for your blood, okay? It is called dong sum. It's called condo no sips, condonisips, and pelosula, okay? This is the long name. I don't know what the heck it is. And then I also have chong chou fa. This is a condesap flower, condesap flower, or chong chou fa. Because it looks like a little, in, a little worm, okay? It looks like a little worm, but it's actually a flower. And this is also very, very good. So I'm gonna use some of these. The first thing you do is, if you don't have this, this is pretty ugly. But this is what you normally see when you go to traditional Chinese restaurant when they have double boil. Then this is the chicken they use. You can buy it in any Asian. In fact, you go to Chinatown, you can buy them live. Okay, live uh, silken chicken called silken chicken, but also a black skin chicken like this. Okay, and then in the meantime, if you don't have this. Don't worry. I just use regular chicken. Okay. What I'm gonna do is in order to make these particular broth nice and clear, I bring this to a boil first. Okay, and let's bring it to a boil. Okay, good. I put this over here and bring this to a boil, chopstick. I let's get some, some chopstick or tong. I need a tong. Okay, I need a tong. You see, I have chicken, either, either you double boil or you boil it. If you double boil, it takes a lot longer because the temperature is maintained at about 100 degree centigrade. And this one, I render this fat a little bit. You see, I bring it rendered the fat, okay? And you can see they even have, they still have the little <laughs> feather here. Let's get rid of the feather. Nice and clean like this, okay? We'll bring this to a boil, so nice and clean, okay? And then in the meantime, we're gonna, after I do that, I'm gonna drain it. 
I'm gonna take it out and I drain it, okay? Let me show you. You bring it to a boil. Very nice, bring it to a boil. Okay, let it see. In the meantime, I'm gonna introduce the rest of the stuff while I'm bringing it to a boil. So, besides the chicken, this is important, dong sum, okay? The dong sum, the name, let me repeat the name of the dong sum again. Okay, this is a really clumsy name, okay? It is Kondon, Kondonosips, Pelosula. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't know where I can actually pronounce it, right? A scientific name, okay? This is dry, you can buy them dry. And then I'm gonna bring this to a boil, now bring to a boil, and then I have snow fungus. This is dry snow fungus, look at that. That's, if you uh, ask people, you should eat more mushroom. Mushroom is all fungus. Okay, the word fungus sounds really strange. This is snow fungus. This is actually a mushroom. It's called snow mushroom. You soak them, they will come out like this. Look at that. You soak them, it looks like this. Look how beautiful. See that? When you, after you soak them, it looks like this. And then I break this up into little pieces like this. See that? And then you also, once you soak them, you use a, you use a scissor to cut this off. This is the stem, okay? So you see? All nice and clean like this, see that? All nice and clean, see that? Already clean up. Now, can you see that? This is um, boiling. After bringing to a boil, some of the fat is already um, uh, um, rendered, okay? And then the soup will be a lot clearer, particularly when you are double boiled, okay? So we want to take it out. We want to take this out. See this? We take it out. We take this out, okay? And then after I take it out, I'm gonna dump this. I'm gonna dump this and get some new water. And with broth, we will use, use broth, okay? And then I'm gonna get, get another pot. I add some chicken broth or just water, fine. I add some chicken broth here, okay? And then I put the chicken back here. Bring this to a boil. I put the chicken, which is already rendered. You see, they uh, they shrink. You can see, once I boil it, they shrink, okay? The yeah. same thing that you do when you do um, roast duck or Peking duck. You let it poach a little bit. So the skin oh. kind of uh, render the fat underneath the skin. So when mm -hmm. you do this, less fatty, okay? And then in the meantime, I also add red date. Red date is also very good. This is mm -hmm. very, very good. Red date is widely used. Red date, let me show you. Red date, okay, this is peated. Mm -hmm. Red date. And then I also use ginger, a few slices of ginger. When ginger goes well with it, it's also chi, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, in the time call chi means hey. Means this is good, balance your chi, okay? Mm -hmm. Hot and cool, and this is the dong sum, the mm -hmm. Chinese herb that I'm talking about. You can buy them in packages like this, okay? Each mm -hmm. time I try to introduce you something traditional, something in, important. But all of these are very, very easy to find anyway. And then I have wood ear also. This is a wood ear, black wood ear. Look at that, look at like this, okay? You can buy them fresh or dry. This is fresh. You can buy them, okay. nowadays you can buy them fresh because this is so popular. In fact, I go to the farmer's market. They even can find fresh ones in the farmer's market. I also put these wood fungus, snow fungus right here. Okay, wow. so everything I dump it in. And also, now this is extra. This is longan. This dry dragon eye fruit. Okay, longan. Means the eye of the longan. dragon. Longan, yeah. Longan, yeah. Longan, you can actually buy them already dry. But when it's in season, uh, about two months ago, uh, you can buy them fresh, okay? But the dry one tastes a lot better. This will add a tiny bit of sweetness to it, okay? Put the tiny little on right here. And then, in the meantime, I also put some chong chou fa, okay? Look at that, mm -hmm. chong chou fa. If you don't have this, don't worry. But this is more traditional. And then, the last thing that I want to put in, you probably never seen this before. Let me show you. Have you ever seen this before? Black uh, garlic. I remember each time when Lorraine uh, 
He comes back from Hong Kong. They always go to a, a Korean or Japanese store, even the Chinese store. You can buy, look at that, black vinegar. He treated black vinegar. Basically, this is he treated and fermented. So it turned into something like dry prune. Look at that. I open it up, it looks like dry prune, like this. Yeah. Okay. Black garlic. Oh, it's a black garlic. So not the, but it looks like prune. It tastes like prune. It's black garlic. Okay. And then let me show you how to open it. Okay. You hold over this. Okay. And you open this like this. And it looks like just this. Peel it off. Yeah, just peeled it off. And the good thing about this is, you see this? You see this? You peeled it off like this. Now, look at that. I'm going to show you. You can literally put this in your mouth. Eat it. It tastes like dry poon. Beautiful. And then, of course, I could rinse my mouth. When you use the green onion for this particular dish, only use the white pot. Okay? okay. Only use the white pot. I also dump this. Recently, a lot more Chinese chefs are doing this. When I do stew, when I mix it, I always put it in. It gives that sweetness to it, okay? Now look at all the ingredients. Take a look at this. I want to take a look at this. All the ingredients, I put it in. Can you see that? Yeah, we can see that, yep. Look at all of these ingredients. So what I'm going to do is, when you do it at home, you don't have one of these. You do not have one of these, right? So what you have to do is just boil it. We just take it over there and let it boil, okay? Mm -hmm. Let it simmer. Let it simmer, medium, low heat. Let it simmer for a couple, for several hours, okay? Okay. Now, look at that. See this? You can see all the ingredients. So why I'm talking to you, I have thousands of fans from around the world uh, watching this from TikTok as well as YouTube. And I am presenting this healthy, wonderful, herbal, chicken tonic for the spring for all of you, particularly for women. Okay, I'm gonna let yeah. it bring to a boil. Let it bring to a boil, okay? In the meantime, I wanna show you the one I have been doing for the last three and a half hour simmer. I'm gonna show you. Once it's done like this, this is the color. Take a look at this. Wow. See that? This is the color. Wow. See that? Look look at that. See that? Yeah, yeah, very rich. And that's the reason why. But if you, because the color is from this, from the red date and from the black garlic, okay? So I'm going to show you how to present this. And I would like to have a plate. And then this, I'm going to show you. Let's do it like this. I put this right over here. Beautiful. Yeah, it here. looks so it's rich, Mary. Plate. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very rich. I can smell the medicine. I can smell the dong sum too. Okay. And then I put so, this on the bottom. Now look so at the this key. chicken. Look at look at the color. Look at the color. Okay. And then I have these Okay. Look at that. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at how beautiful. Look at that. Okay, look at that. And then I will put the soup. I will get the soup ready and then put it right over here. Everybody can see. Well, we can use look instant pot. Oh yeah, you can use instant pot, definitely. Now this is the one we use, okay? Wow. And then I'm gonna cut it up because it's, it's, you can actually eat it. So this is the Dong Sum. This is the Condonis, uh, Opal, Opal Sula, whatever that the name is. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. I, Do you eat look it? At, look at, yeah, you can eat it. Yeah, look at that. It is nice and sweet. I oh, can okay. It has this, some taste in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still has some taste. And then okay. when this is done, I have also some chong chou fa and red date. Look at that. I have red date. Uh -huh. Red date. I have red date. Oh, that looks See so that? heartwarming. Oh, oh that beautiful. So and then chong chou fa. Chong chou fa. Look at this. Let me see. Beautiful. This is unbelievably delicious. 
I'm not kidding. I I I can I can just because I after I finish this, you invite to come to my kitchen. <laughs> you invite, Stephanie, invite everybody from all of to come here. I will feed you. Okay, look at that. This, this is dinner is time. Yay! This is dinner time. Look at that. Wow, that this looks is so good. beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's boiling. Look at this. Can you take a look at this? Yeah. It's boiling. Can you see that? Yeah. And then when this is done, I'm going to show you our chopstick. Look at that. It's beautiful. I am I'm telling you, this is so good. Okay, this, this is going to be yeah. wonderful. And this boiling. I want to just to, just to show you this is boiling. Can you see that? Yep. Yep. We can see that. See that. Is boiling. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I normally use medium low. Let it boil slowly. Okay. When this is done, we will serve. Actually, you know what? I like to have a little bit more broth, so it looks nicer. That that reminds me of the Korean ginseng chicken. Soup. Yeah. You, I, I was in Korea. I did a show called Korean Food Life with Chef Martin Yen. And I travel all over from the border of North and South Korea to the Jeju Island. And I dive with the diving ladies. You know, these ladies, about uh, there are several of them are uh, dining with me, diving with me. And one of them is uh, 69, one of uh -huh. them is 74, another one is 83. And oh, they, wow. they move. They, they swim faster than me. Now, look at this. This is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Wow. Now, the next, the next one is even more interesting because I want to show you once you brace it, it's called the brace spring bamboo shoot. Now, bamboo shoot, you can buy them like this vacuum pack. This is fresh bamboo shoot. Okay. And then you can also buy them like this, fresh as well as in can. This is what it is, okay? Spring bamboo shoot, okay? And then you can also buy them in a can like this, okay? That's how you do it. You can buy them like this. This is how mm. you're going to show you, show you, okay? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at this, okay? Okay, and this is done. And then I'm going to cut this up into one and a two and a row cutting, three. And a four. Look at that. They cut it into like this. Into pieces. Okay. Yeah, into pieces. And then I go one row, one row, one. This is called row cutting technique. They're all the same sh size, but different shape. Mm. Okay. And this one, if you don't have time, you just go done. That's how you do it. Okay. If you don't really care about the shape. So you have this, you have this, so we can get rid of all of these. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to braise this. Let me show you. Okay. This is amazing. Bamboo shoot, spring bamboo shoot, or you can just buy the smaller bamboo shoot. It's more tender. Don't buy the big one, buy the smaller one. Okay. And then I have garlic, ginger. I have chili. I have citron peppercorn, citron peppercorn. Let me show you the citron peppercorn. Okay. You can buy citron peppercorn in a container like this. You see this? This is the best. It's from Hanyuan, Hanyuan citron peppercorn from the province of Sichuan. Hanyuan mm -hmm. citron peppercorn this is the best. And then you open it up, it, it numbs you. It's amazing. It's so it smells so good. It's um, unreal. Okay. And then I would use wood ear also, wood ear, tiny bit of wood ear. A lot of people don't realize, uh, a lot of people believe, particularly the Chinese herbal, they believe wood ear actually lower your blood pressure, blood sugar, and also your blood lipids. And then the, because the fiber, the fiber and the colloid in the uh, wood ear can clean up your digestive system. Look how clean. You know what? I eat a lot of these and people in Sichuan, China, they eat a lot of these wonderful wood ear. They eat with cloud ear or wood ear, okay? 
We have a tiny bit of this. So the first dish, we use it. And the second dish, I also use this. And I also mm. have dry chili. Dry chili, okay? What I'm going to do is I heat this up and I toss. I use a tiny bit of oil. Once I heat up the frying pan, I will use a tiny bit of dry chili, citron peppercorn, garlic, and ginger. Get the flavor, all this aromatic out of it first. And then I have soy sauce. I use different two different kinds of soy sauce. I use a double fermented soy sauce. You see this? Double fermented soy sauce. That means the best. Double fermented soy sauce. Can everybody see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? yeah. We can see, you see that. that? Mm -hmm. Yep. That means they the first extraction, they ferment it twice. That okay. means it's more expensive. Okay. Any double fermented soy sauce is more expensive than the one fermentation. And then I heat up the frying pan. Always heat up the frying pan first, and then put the oil. Mang wok yum yum, hot oil cool. Oil wok cool oil. Okay, and then I put the chili. I want the flavor. I don't want to break it up. I just want the flavor. Look at that, a lot of them. And then ginger is hot. Ooh. and then garlic. Okay, this would be really really beautiful. And then citron peppercorn. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. And then I also use a tiny, tiny bit of dry tangerine peel. The dry tangerine peel, you have to basically soak them, okay? It smells really good. Uh, I bought this in a store and they can go anywhere from um, uh, $15 a pound to about $500 a pound, depends on the year. This, this is very good. This is about a, a 15 year old uh, fermented one, okay? Now, this is what, look at that, look at that. Now, I don't know about you. If you're in my kitchen, this is my kitchen, okay? Mm -hmm. I can smell it. And I'll put this also right here. And I also have a tiny bit of star anise, look at that. Yeah. This is not original in the recipe. And then I will braise this. I will braise this, look at that. I will braise this. Look at that. Wow. It must smell good with all these oh, spices in there. Oh, so good. Now, I just want to show you, you know why I like to do this? This is great for senior, because once you braise this, you can put it in the, in the jar or the container. You can use it for the next two months or three months. This is already well seasoned. That's the reason why. In fact, you can go and uh, go out uh, to the store and buy Yao Man Shen, already braise it for you. But this is much tastier than the one that you buy, okay? Wow. Look, look at that. And then I'm going to add two different kinds of soy sauce. Now, one is the double fermented soy sauce. One is the this is double fermented soy sauce. And then this is double fermented soy sauce. And then a tiny bit of dark soy. Let me show you. Dark soy. Can you see this? Dark yeah. soy sauce. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, yeah. Dark soy. Dark soy. Everybody can see, okay? Yeah. I use two different kinds of soy sauce because I want to, to have the color. Can you see that? Nice. I also have a tiny bit of sesame seed oil and a tiny bit of wine. Let me show you a tiny bit of wine. Okay? Tiny bit of Shaoxing wine. Damn, it would be really, really amazing. Okay? Oh. And I like to have a tiny bit of homemade soup dog. Look at that. I let it breathe. I let it breathe. Now I want to, now look at the change of color already. Look at that, look at the change of color. Already really nice and up because of dark soy. And then I also use a tiny bit of rock sugar. You can use brown sugar, okay? Not much, just enough, okay? And then when this is done, I'm gonna let it sit there and let it breathe. And okay? simmer. I'm gonna, yeah, let it simmer. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more broth. And then mm. this way, and a tiny bit of wood ear, okay? Now, normally they do not have wood ear, but I love the wood ear. And then this way, I want to show you how amazing this is, okay? This is done. And then I'm going to cover this up with a lid. I cover, can you see that? Everybody yes, can see I can that? Yes, I see that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Everybody can see that. Look at that. Beautiful. And then yeah. I'm going to turn it over here and I let it brace. 
that's the reason why I was able to show you so many things because I have all of these ready. I think the chicken is going to show you the chicken, okay? Look at that. Look how beautiful the chicken. Take a look at this. All of these things here. Look at that. Wow. See? Once you let it simmer, 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 the color from the condensate flour and the red date would come out and the black um, uh, garlic, the fermented black garlic, heat treated black garlic would also color, caramelize it, make it a little bit dark and brownish, okay? So we're gonna let it continue to cook over medium, low heat, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna show you, let's ask some question. Let's come back here and take a look at how beautiful this looks like after three or four hours simmering. Can you see that? This yeah, is very, I want to take rich. a sip of that one. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, I'll take I'll take a sip and I'll tell you how good it is. Yeah, today. yeah, you probably I'm gonna, should. I want to take a sip. I want to take a sip <laughs> of this. Let me see. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Amazing. I cannot believe it uh, because I think it's such a taste of it. I'm not kidding. I know, it right? Is, um, if you want to have a particular for senior, stay away from too much salt. So that's why I normally use very little salt in my cooking, right? So yeah. use less oil, less salt. Hey, look at these physical specimen. I have not gained one pound. If you yeah. watch the Yankee Cook Show since 1978, the show has been on for 45 to 46 years. I have not gained one pound. Look at that. That's great. That's great. Not one pound. So my friends around the world, you eat well and exercise. This morning I was in my treadmill and I walked the dog and I work in my garden. <laughs> so diet and exercise, that's what we, 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 it doesn't mean. In, in, in fact, I was doing this in the airport and they think I'm not. <laughs> you see that? Amazing. So every day I eat well and I exercise, okay? Unlock is a wonderful organization because we're senior and embrace life. Keep active, socialize, eat well, and always share your good fortune and yeah. all your happiness with others. Then you live forever, okay? Let me show you which is being braced. Look at that. See that? Wow, well, yeah, yeah. That. Wow, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really, let me taste it. Let me taste it. Always should taste, okay? Always uh, taste that, taste right? into it. Always taste test. That's why Chef always has a spoon right here. <laughs> you know what? Mm. It's not bad. <laughs> it, is sure. good. it has got a little kick to it because the chili. Oh, oh my hair is smoke. Look at that. Would, this would is that be a little most... bit too spicy though? No, no. Uh, because I did not break up the um the, the chili. You see this? I see. Uh, the chili. If you break it up, it's a little bit harder. But basically, yes. I want to get the flavor, the aroma. So it's not too ah, hot because I, I see, did I not see. break any one of these up. You see. Okay. That's the key. I see. see that? I see. And then yeah. I'll continue to let it brace. I continue to let it brace in the medium. I hit it. I'm going to show you how to do this. Here, I'm going to make the black sesame seed. This is black sesame seed. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is black sesame seed. And then this is the black sesame seed powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a motor, just like if you uh, go to um, uh, the Southeast Asian uh, restaurant, or whole household, they have a, 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 a motor, and then you just use it to grind. They, they have that in Japan too, motor, ground, 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 ground. You know, a lot of people don't realize, you can also buy them in a store, okay? Black, pure ground sesame seed powder. They're rich in calcium and also rich in antioxidant and also natural vitamin E. That's the reason why it is so good, okay? And also, they supposed to help to increase uh, to uh, increase your in antioxidant activity, which delays skin aging. Look at this, eighty-five years old. Huh? Ah, huh? ah, ah. Look at that. Okay, you can buy this. Once you get this, you put. If I were you, I'll put it in um, the fridge. Okay, okay. So this is the black sesame seed bread. And then, otherwise, you roasted this, 
black sesame seed you can buy in a store, roast it, soak them, and put in a strong, powerful vitamin, um, vitamin. Okay. In the meantime, this is beautifully done. And we are going to serve these. In the meantime, I'm going to show you. The next thing, you have this, and you have rock sugar, and then, look at that. You know what I have? I have this dumpling. This is actually inside that is black sesame seed, okay? They got small one and a big one like this, okay? This is the small one, black sesame seed filling. This is the big one. And you bring this to a boil, okay? Bring this to a boil. And in the meantime, you bring this to a boil, and then, let me show you. And then look at that. This is how you do it. And then you put this black sesame seed powder right here. And then kind of a sugar, brown sugar or rock sugar, okay? Rock sugar. And then put a tiny bit of, this is rice flour. This is um, long grain rice flour, okay? And we'll show you the long grain rice flour. This is a long grain rice flour. You see this? Rice flour to thicken it, okay? Don't use cornstarch, use rice flour to thicken it, okay? And then this is done. I'm gonna take it out. Look at that, beautiful. Oh. We will take, this is boiling, it translucent, okay? Translucent. And it, once it flows, okay? Once it flows, now it's floating, see? When it flows, mm -hmm. it's ready. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. See? But it's floating. In the meantime, I'm going to add this boiling water to here. Okay? Oh. Look at that. Look at this. See? Floating. Okay? It flows on top. And in the meantime, I'm going to thicken this up. Thicken this up with cornstarch or flour, rice flour, okay? Can you see this? Rice flour. I thicken it up with rice flour. This is how they do it. You, if you don't have rice flour, this is a long green rice flour. You can use cornstarch or tapioca starch, no big deal, okay? You thicken this up like that. Very good. Look at this. And this is already sweet. This is Chima Wu already. Look at that. This is already Chima Wu. Can you see that? This is Chima Wu. This is Chima Wu. I want to show you how beautiful this is. Let me show you. This is thickening. Can you see that? Can you see this? Can you see that? Chima mm -hmm. Wu. Chima Wu. If it's changed. not right. If you, if you don't have enough rice flour, you put a tiny bit more rice flour. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Bring it to a boil. Look at how beautiful. Can you see that? It's, it's, yep. it's it become a chi ma wu. Look at this. Mm -hmm. You see this? Look at that. Make sure you bring this to a boil and make sure it's sweet enough. Let's check it out. Mm. You know what? Mm. The roasted sesame seed flavor. Mm. And it's beautiful. When this is done, let me show you how to present it. If you want to have some almond flavor, I put a I lot see. of almond milk. Almond I milk. See. Okay. Then it will increase and make it a little bit less dark at the same time. Let us have a tiny bit more uh, flour. Let a tiny bit more flour, rice flour. Can you see that? Now make sure you, you remember to get this, okay? So every day I introduce you to a few extra ingredients. Oh, beautiful. And then when this is nice and ready, let me show you. This mm. is gonna be so beautiful. 
I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? Everybody can see. So everybody can see how I put this. This is very hot too. Very hot. Look at that. This is where you can buy this. Very hot. And then look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. It's dark. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, that this, is so Wu. this is Jima Wu. This is Jima Wu. Okay. But I want to show you the way I do the Jima Wu is better, a little more different, in, interesting than most people. Look at that. Now, mm. watch. And then you remember we have the the sesame seed ball. Pang Look at that. Mm. Pang Wan. So in a true sense, in life, you can create your own thing. Why? Right. And then when this is done, I will garnish a little bit with a tiny bit of coconut cream, coconut milk. Mm. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. And then sesame seed. Sesame seed on top. Mm. And then tiny bit of black sesame seed on top. And mm. that's how you do things. So every day you can create something. And then every day you can do something different. And you please your, this is the dessert. Look at that. This is the dessert. Look how beautiful. And then I have the Yao Man Shen. Look at that. Look at when it's, when it's done. This mm -hmm. is beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to put this right over here. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Oh, this is I, perfect with the bowl of rice. I put all the beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And then when this one's done, let me show you. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Always make the dish. That's why sometimes you can actually do it, do it better than a restaurant. You know why? Because you can take the time to do it in a restaurant. They don't have the time to fool right. around to do it like this. But yeah, when you do it at home, you can literally do it like that. And then when this is done, then you can actually make it more interesting by putting extra sesame seed oil right on top and a tiny bit of red chili oil right mm -hmm. on top. Look at that. Oh, son. this is nice and hot and it's beautiful. And then always, always do like a, a Chinese, a, like any chef, a high end restaurant. Always, always do it like this. And the chef, the chef would come and take care of all of these things. Look how beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. And this is so beautiful. Everybody can do it. Everybody can do it. So today, I actually have presented three wonderful dish. Yes. And then, of course, why we are doing this and getting the thing ready. Here is the herbal chicken soup or double boil or just simmer for hours with snow fungus, okay? Um, with the uh, white fungus and lots of This one, look at that. This is the braised spring bamboo shoot. Tastes actually better than the can because this is, we are use fresh bamboo shoot, okay? Or spring bamboo shoot. Of course, we have the sweet sesame seed ball floating on the sweet, Sesame seed broth or, 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 or paste, okay? Either paste or broth. So Thank you. try to do this at home. And I'm so happy to team up with Stephanie and the Unlock team to do Yen Can Cook with Unlock. In fact, I'm telling you some good news. We are working together with Unlock to come up with a brand new cookbook, which is coming out in a few months. So next time when you see it, I might have we'll be able to offer another cookbook for you. But yeah. in the meantime, yeah. uh, let us make sure Unlock, Yang can cook with Unlock. We are senior yeah. and Braised Life. And yeah, then for any, for any question or ordering of the cookbook or any question about tips, cooking tips, ingredient, which, which every time I try to introduce something different, okay? And you can check on, get the a QR code and yangkincook.com will give you a lot of information. In the meantime, Thank I wish you. you good health and happiness, particularly 
women of this century. Happy Women's Day. It's just some uh, housekeeping item to uh, for everybody here. Our next show is going to be Go Back to Thursday because Chef Yan just came back last night. So that's why we're doing Yay! And then yep. uh, our you... next show is going to be on Thursday, uh, uh, April 4th, 2000, uh, April 4th, 4 to 5 p.m., just like our usual schedule. And uh, if you want to learn, learn more about Unlock, uh, go ahead uh, on uh, uh, go into our website unlock.org and if you want to get more recipe uh, unlock.org slash Jane can cook with unlock and I'm so happy to see you all here happy happy International Women's Day and have a wonderful time with your uh, family and enjoy the dishes also and if you have any questions just email us at um, community news at unlock.org thank you and see you next time bye bye